This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Volume well, back here with another episode of Metal Gear Acid. In the last episode, we finally... Well, we had a really long discussion with Fleming about about how we're actually Hans Davis, though we d doubt it to the extreme, and that even our allies are doubting us. But uh, for now, we can't really discuss it much further because Fleming has run off, and uh, we've uh, at least we've got the Pythagoras data, but we need to crack it somehow. So we're gonna have to escape this building and uh, figure out what to go to next. But before we do that, let's uh, well, let's buy some cards just just because. Yeah, grenades, cool. Not gonna. User life, ally life. Huh. Support, so you give life to another player. Cool. Alright. Just, just wanted to do that. Alright, let's do some auto building for both characters. And then let me do an edit just to make sure that I got what I wanted on there. Because sometimes, uh, oops. Sometimes not everything gets added like I want to. Uh, let's see. I'm looking for the cards. I need to see this card one, which isn't even any of our packs, which is... I don't know why the game wouldn't do that. The game doesn't even give us boxes anymore. Wait, you don't like... What What do you have against boxes? Anyway, uh... So I'm going to have to get rid of something from... So those are move cards. I kind of like having those. I might get rid of that since that causes more trouble than it's worth. I mean, yeah, it's like a in a danger situation. Maybe get rid of all the cards or people on the board, but... Um... I think I'll try, I think I'll swap that out to give myself the card level two and, and give myself a level one as well. Um, that's fine, let's see, vamp, don't really. Yeah, sometimes I don't understand the, uh, the um, uh, do I need multiple grenades? One might be fine. Oh wait, I'm, oh, I thought it was in snake screen. Did I give Taliko the, uh, the card level two? Okay, uh, what she have before? Campbell. I meant to be in snake screen. Whoops. Uh, let's see. Don't have either card in this hand. Front of aid. That'd be fine. Uh, we don't. Snake doesn't have enough. Why do you guys give him equip level three when you when you when you when you auto do it? You don't give him enough equipment cards to. Do that. This is why you don't trust the uh, the auto um, in any game, really. I'm just doing it to save me a little bit of time. Uh, actually, I don't even think I need equipped level two because Snake doesn't have enough equipment cards on him, or at least he shouldn't. Game Mike's giving him stuff like. Well, now the game's starting to give him equipped cards. Huh. Interesting. Does he at least give me all the? The game took out all the SOCOM uh, weapons. Why? Ugh. No, I'm gonna remove all the... Uh... I mean, yeah, the equipped items are awesome, but I don't want a ton of equipped items. I'll take a couple. You know, uh, yeah, like the, uh, maybe I'll leave the M4s on, you know, but... Uh... Okay, I don't want that one. Wow, I can't believe the game now started giving me equipped cards. I mean, they're they're good, I think, but you know, there's the put both cards on. So yeah, they took out a lot of the attack cards on Snake for some reason when they did that. At least they left some attack weapons on her when doing that. I think I'll leave her alone for the most part. Man. All right. Let's see, where am I supposed to go? I guess. I guess we just have to do the same map again, I guess. Because it looks like it's highlighted, so. Because we still have to escape, right? We ended the mission. The reason ended the mission because it was such a long mission. You know, so. Roger, we made it to the storehouse. What's wrong? It's nothing, Snake. Give me an update on Fleming. The codec was acting up, so I wasn't able to listen in. I see. Gary was flaming. What? Gary was there. His real name is William Fleming. Gary is Fleming? Yeah, he was developing Aqua in this lab. Or this lab, someone like So Gary has ha also had Pythagoras. Yeah, since he's actually Fleming and Pythagoras is apparently a data for Metal Gear. 
just as we thought. How can we decode Pythagoras? Is there some sort of crypt cryptanalysis procedure? I wasn't able to ask about that. And that's not encouraging. We only have two hours left, according to the hijacker's demands. That's not enough time for us to break the code here. Looks like we still need Fleming. Oh, and Snake? Why did he hand you the disc so readily? Roger. I just received a report from headquarters. Apparently the hijacker is harboring some personal grudge against you, and there's a possibility that you're somehow involved with this incident. Dot dot dot. Do you know anything about this? Nothing. Why don't you guys trust Snake? I mean, he's doing he's doing all your work without any lip, you know? I trust you, Snake. It's just that... Colonel, I overheard the entire conversation between Snake and Fleming. Oh, don't let the cat out of the bag now. I thought you trusted me. I thought I was the hero to you. And... Snake checks out fine. I'm sure of it. But she won't give me the disc. Great. Tlaiko? Am I going to do this Tlaiko now? Or... I keep thinking Tlaiko sounds better. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to just call her Tlaiko just because it sounds... Uh, I don't know, Tlaiko just sounds weird. Ah, uh, well, better pronounce that correctly. Tlaiko. Tlaiko. Tot, tot, tot. Or, tot, tot, tot. Just carry on with the mission, Snake. We've got to get that code from Fleming. I know you're not about to throw in the towel, and I still have something to check on, too. What is it? Don't worry about it. Right. I believe you, Snake. Through thick and thin, you have my trust. Is that clear? Can I ask you something, Roger? Is it possible to implant one's memories into another person as if that person had actually experienced everything stored in that other memory? Another person's memory? I heard something similar to that in the past. Can't remember the details, though. Are you experiencing symptoms? No, I'm fine. Just forget it. Yeah, that ain't suspicious. Dot, dot, dot. Tlaiko. Thanks. I need to apologize. I do trust you. Then give me the then give me the codes. But you always been a hero to me, Snake. Ooh, does that mean we could get some uh, touchy feely time? No, I'm just kidding. Snake isn't really into that type of stuff. Don't uh, don't let me down, okay? Dot dot dot. Snake. Ah, it's the Tubbo again. Leone. If you refuse to run, I'll have to stomp you out. Dot, dot, dot. The legendary American hero, huh? This should be fun. Oh, are we having a boss fight now? Dot, dot, dot. I don't like this, Snake. It looks like that X is our only way out. We have to do something about Leone. Or we're trapped in here. Have you found out anything about my troops and I? You're a group of angry soldiers who lost their mommies, I mean countries, to U.S. control. Unlike my troops, my homeland wasn't stolen. But you got the angry part right. I am very, very pleased. I've only dreamt... I've only dreamt... I've dreamt only of crushing the United States ever since that awful time. I was once like you, serving America as a soldier, a damn patriot. My name was Jeff Jones. Now you called yourself Leone? What, you go French all of a sudden? Not that there's anything wrong with being French, I'm just saying. That's a definite change. But Beagle had and still has a low opinion of me, so they crushed my pride. You were you want Pythagoras? Is that why you're here? I got I got a call out of the blue. Without his info, I couldn't have attacked Beagle. I had no way of knowing about the Pythagoras being held up in this lab. Or about Fleming. Info from who? You're in the way, Snake. I want my revenge, and you're making things difficult. I can't share Pythagoras or Fleming with you. They're all mine. No oh, good, a crazy dude who's got a thing for greed. Uh, was it, uh, uh, I don't know. Snake. 
So it's Leone. I'll find an escape route for you. Just stay alive long enough for me to find it, okay? You're an annoyance, Snake. A real eyesore. I say. You can't escape to Lego. But there's one of him and two of us. I'll attack him straight on. Then you can unload on his blind spot. I didn't. I only equipped it with her with one gun weapon. That should be at least give us a feel for his tactics. Okay. Question mark? Okay, whatever. Die, snake! Uh-oh. Defeat Leone. Oh, boy. Maybe I should have left Roy Campbell on a inner card set. All right, permanent uh, alert. I don't remember. Actually, I, I act as if I fought in this fight before. All right, we've got a boss fight, but luckily we can use stealth and stuff like that to avoid his attacks if we're aware of it. But uh, yeah, okay, cool. I was wondering when we were going to do boss fights in the game. He's got a thousand life. Oh boy. Let's see. He's got. Oh, I got high equipment card count, and I don't even know what those other two on the bottom are. Six of them, I can't tell. They're just exclamation points. Looks like his uh, range is pretty high too. So we definitely don't want to be, even though Snake said I would be out in the open, we don't actually want to be out in the open for this. Otherwise, we'll be uh, SOL'd. S to the, F to the A. Um, nah, not enough room to like get close and hide, so we'll have to, we'll have to, uh, we'll have to hide. All right, you do that. Hold off on your turn. And then Teleco. Probably start equipping you with cards so you can counter and all that other stuff. But you have to get hit to get countered, which is which is uh interesting. Anyway. Oh right, she doesn't have equip cards yet, or she doesn't have a um uh, she doesn't have her equipment the card yet to like equip like a bunch of cards, so we'll just have to uh, uh yeah, we'll need to move out of the way so he doesn't immediately shoot us. Man, I've just noticed the game's being a little little uh, slow. Like, uh, um, not slow. Uh, it, it's, it's, the FP, uh, the frame rate's dropping slightly. Discard. Uh, okay, he's not doing anything. That's not a good sign. Uh, okay, so... I wonder how long he's just going to stay there, though. Yeah, too bad. I can't press triangle to speed up my turns, unfortunately. Oh, well. You have to be careful to find out what, what his cards are, you know? Do I want to stay, like, pretty... F yeah, I don't know why there's such a low frame rate here. He's. It's not like a, It's not like there's, like, a million dudes in this in this area, you know? Too bad, I guess I can't see him from there, so. Would I see him if I uh, move there? Nope. I'm afraid of getting too close, you know what I mean? Like, he's gonna notice. Well, he's on permanent alert. Was I actually, maybe I was actually was supposed to just straight up charge him or something like that, you know? Can we put that? Now oh, we could put it there. That wouldn't really help me out. Maybe we should have taken out the. Oh, now he's moving. Uh oh. Oh, that guy's a tank. Look at that. Man, too bad I don't have. The only problem is I don't have three turns to uh. Um, to uh, move and position myself. You know. What's his? Okay. What's his? That takes eight turns to move. Oh, he's... Oh. It looks like he's just moving, so it's not a... Oh, no, I'm not even facing the right direction anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, I guess I'll leave a... Uh... Really? I can't see him? When If you can't see, like, a little thing on him, that means you can't, like, attack him with, like... Uh, with, like, a... Uh weapons and stuff like that. Well, that's a bit annoying, all bit. Yeah, 
Yeah, uh, Snake doesn't have enough turns to, uh... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Great, that's not good. Where did he move that car? Uh, oh, good, she's almost got her turn. She can move out of the way. I think he threw the grenade, like, right next to her. I think it's, like, right here. Yeah. Four turns before it explodes. And it doesn't tell me what type of weapon it is. I assume it's a grenade, so it probably is three outs. It's probably, like... See from there, it probably goes here. So if I move back this way, she should be fine as long as I can move out of that turn. Let's see, she's got three turns. I've, I use a couple of her cards. So what is his, what is his cost at right now? Eight, huh? Let's throw... What? Okay, fine, whatever. Move. I got no low end cards, unfortunately. All right, move here. This is what I get for flattening on the wall, unfortunately. All right, let's use our own grenade. Unfortunately, this means she's gonna have a really high, uh, um, this means she's gonna have a real high, um, oh wait, is that gonna be final? Hopefully. I'm hoping that's far enough, because I want to still have her be out of his range, you know. A little bit more tactical. Okay. Oh, that was a smaller explosion. I could have... Nah, it's better to move at a decent rate. Too bad her cost is so high, though. Uh, I really don't want to get rid of my... I might have to take a hit, then, because I'm not going to be able to get any damage on him if I... With my low, uh, and it, I do have front defense, so. Oh, do, maybe those barrels do explode. I can't target them. All right, let's see what happens. I'm doing damage to them at least. And I do have front. Uh, I do have front, like, defend or whatever it is. So I should be able to survive at least. Oh, nice! He didn't move in time. So. Oh, he has a guard card. It looked like he had a card that defended against that or something. It looks like. Uh oh! Whoa! Woo! Yeah, good thing I have a, a, a evade. I don't know how much damage that would have done, but would have done a lot. So, all right, she's still got more equipped cards. Yeah, I'm gonna have to give her a friend evade as well. And then I guess just leave for now. She doesn't have enough cards right now, and I don't. Really, and I don't have any combat cards for her right now, so. Maybe I should, if I know this was going to be a boss fight, maybe I would have actively, like, um, uh, tried to go through my deck and make sure I had the right, right card, so, oh well. Um, okay. My, well, he might have protection from the front, though, so do I really want to, do I really want to use a card on a front attack, you know? I could run away again and, and prepare myself with some more equipped cards. Maybe that's why the game took off all the SOCOMs, because it knew I was going to fight this fight. So it's like, hey, you probably don't want to equip SOCOMs against this guy. Just just, just, uh, just to let you know. Uh, uh, let's see. To hit them, it's probably going to be ridiculously low anyway. So, yeah, 9%. No, not, no, no point to even do that, really. Yeah, let's get... Since we're, it's not going to get as much damage, but we'll still get some damage on him, so... Oh, he does have front of aid. Okay. I was, you know what? That makes sense. He would have something like that. He blocks it. Well, oh, he has a counter. Oh, crap. That should, oh, he doesn't just shoot a sniper rifle. He shoots like a sniper with a like a massive bullet or something like that. So, well, I'm not gonna stay. Uh, which one do I want to? Which one does more damage? I mean, it doesn't matter if there's a suppressor in this case. So, don't. Attack five. It seems like counter cards don't have a ton of damage, though. That one has better damage, so I'll uh, I'll use that to move. And then next turn, I'll uh, move and heal since he took uh, did a little bit of chunk on me. Luckily, apparently him using um, him using um, oh uh, him using his attack card apparently uses a lot of cost, so. Got that. 
Uh, yeah, I can't really do anything with that. Might have to get rid of some cards. Yeah, we'll just keep moving for now. That's yeah, weird that it's like her move is uh, really slow. That's another one I might just want to hold on to. Oops. I don't want to be that close, so. I especially don't want to be close to that those barrels. Let's go ahead and heal Snake. Uh, what does that do again? Interference? How many turns he'll take to move there, though? He's pretty far away, and I think he moves like three or four blocks per movement. Man, I wish I had more uh, front of eight cards. I think I have one more, but... Oh, he lost track of us, so... Well, that's good. Uh... Ooh. Yes, please. Free damage. It's not a lot. It's only 50, but still damage. So I'll, I'll take that to him. Yeah, come on, skip. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, it wasn't a ton of damage, but hey, it's better than nothing. Yep, 6-3 to go. Um, okay. Well, it looks like Leone is going to give us a run of for his for our money, especially with a big, huge man with a sniper rifle. Will Taliko and Snake be able to work together to beat this tub of lard? Or will, the, uh, will his anger towards the U.S. power him through our assault? Find out what happens next time in the next episode of Metal Gear Acid. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.